Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Operation True Love to episode 60 to 61. Due to Webster's new policy, I got flagged four times before this year, I mean last year, 2023 ended four times. I have to continue to blur. For anyone out there who keeps complaining about it, Please be understanding. I have to in order for you guys to view all these for free and listen along with me as I read to you guys, I have to put up the cat logo blurs to block the views and cut some parts, okay? Stop asking me to remove it. Anyways, I do have all these reads without any sort of censorship, especially for the reads that are horror, action, gory, you know, those type of reads um, on my Patreon page, which is at patreon.com slash chaotic, And it's also available as an early access too, if you guys do enroll for that. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right. Why didn't you come down? Do you know how long I've been looking for you? Doa Bake is here. Kaboom. Sir, I said Doa Bake is here. He came in with Sue A. Shim. Where the hell is this man? Do, do. Doa Bake came by on his own with your business card. But he brought someone with him. Uh, looks like you know already. You're right. It's Sue A. Shim. What in the world are you thinking? Ugh, who knows? I'm not really sure myself. Actually, that's not exactly true. All these problems arose because of my carelessness. Last winter. It's missing. The system's not reading it for some reason. And it's been excluded from all stats. And we haven't been able to find out what's causing it yet. Damn it. What is it? What's the problem? How could this happen? There hasn't been a single problem until now. So why all of a sudden? Wait. What if it's not just one person who's missing? Click, 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 That's a lot of monitors, guys. Click, click. His, he didn't eat his food. That looks like a delicious steak. So, even though I continued to be anxious, I was too easily reassured. Ugh. It's such a relief only once missing. Well, it's not, it, it's not a relief exactly, but... <sighs> I tried to wrap things up in the easiest way possible. Step. Why don't I just get rid of it then? But even, but even that plan was shelved for some ridiculous reason. Uh... Becoming the Black uh, Rose Girl of Versailles, Chapter 59. Oh. Cindy, the Black Rose of Versailles. My reading, my reading number two, backup. My personal collection, number one and number two. My, my reading one, my reading two. Oh my gosh. I'm such a fan of these series that I have a total of four sets. It's an unfortunate masterpiece that never saw completion due to the author's death. And my favorite character, Grey. The second male lead who meets with a tragic end. <sighs> it's not that I'm upset Grey died. In fact, I think his death gives closure to his character. And if I'm the, this move, if I'm this moved by the second male lead, it means it's well made. But you haven't really read volume 16, Grey's Death. That's different, you punk. Oh. 
So he kind of stopped there because all those are like reread over and over. Becoming the Black Rose Girl of Rosalie's is a web novel with Grey, the second male lead as the main character. I guess like a kind of a spin-off. Edward loved Cindy. Spin-off. Becoming the Black Girl Rose Girl of Rosalie's. Grey loved Cindy. Ever since episode 3 was published, I've just been waiting and waiting to enjoy the next one. What a masterpiece. Why is episode 59 in her laptop when it's not even out yet? So what you're saying is, because of your deeply personal and trivial desire to see Miss Sue Shim's novel completed, you decided to leave it alone for now? I can kill her after I read how the story ends. And I'm not leaving it alone. I'm merely postponing it. Wait a second. Didn't I say I was against killing her from the beginning? So then why do you sit, text Miss Shem, mess with her, and divulge company secrets to her, including information regarding the love points? Because it's fun. And to satisfy all that romance mania. <laughs> I didn't take it seriously enough. After all, what can a little girl barely in high school do? I just wanted to have a little fun with her until she finishes the novel and then I'll get rid of her. But her current love points continue to rise, although her total point is still zero. It was strange that her love points were zero, but that her current points exceed her total points. It's quite odd indeed. I should have gotten rid of, gotten rid of her when I had the chance. Operation True Love, episode sixty. Hmm. Picking out my going to the movies with Yunyuk look. Ta da! Seventy equal too childish. Ta da! Fifty. Too overdressed. Ta da! 20. No. No. <laughs> Why does it keep getting weirder? Huh. Ugh, what am I supposed to wear? Why is your room such a mess? What are you doing? Ugh, d d don't you know how to knock? Where are you going? None of your business. I tell you not to bother with my laundry anymore. Is it a date? What? This dress looks good on you. And that cardigan would go really well with it. What do you think? <laughs> it's cuter than it, I thought. <laughs> Are you sure it's the same size? Why is mine so big? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Thanks. All right. <sighs> 20 minutes before the movie starts. Oh, she ended up wearing exactly what his, her stepsister, half-sister, no, half stepsister, right? Uh, told her. I got here way too early. Ended up wearing the outfit Ra M chose. <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't overdo it. Oh. Why are you so dressed up? Super casual. No, he wouldn't. Maybe the pen is too much. Yeah, it definitely is. What are you doing? It looked pretty. Uh. Hey. Oh. Yeah. He said it's pretty, said it's pretty, said it's pretty. Oh. No, 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 you're prettier. What? what? L let's go. She's so shy. Pretty. <laughs> Look, here's my weakness, okay? When I go on a date with a guy, you know, like even when I met my person, okay, he, I remember everything he wore. I guess, well, mainly because I'm the type to kind of like, I do, I am one of those type of people who write in my diary. Yes, it's weird. It's so 200 years ago type of thing, you know, that people write in their diaries, but I write in my diaries and I draw out 
you know, stuff. Like, I draw all the characters. I draw, like, my little chibi characters and stuff like that. And so I went on a date after going through, you know, I was healing and I was going through, like, you know, breakup. I was healing and then I was ready to date. And, um, went on a date or two and then I went on a date with my person. And, uh, I remember exactly what he wore. He wore a hat, uh, a cap, and he wore a black shirt, almost like right here. Uh, Unique's uh, outfit and like, kind of, kind of like, almost like gray jeans or maybe little blue jeans, but it was really light. And he wore shoes, you know, tennis shoes, uh, black tennis shoes. And I just, I remember just remembering it, but I was like, you know, it's just probably going to be like a, a simple date. We met at like Micro Center. <laughs> And uh, that was our first date because I don't like dinner dates because dinner dates you're stuck at the table. What if it's like a dud? Like, you know, like the dude is just boring or he's just nothing clicks. He's just, eh, I don't want to be stuck like eating like a five course meal with a guy. Uh, so I was just like, let's meet at Micro Center. I need to get, uh, I was building my computer. I need a graphics card. And uh, that time it was inflation time. So <laughs> anyways, anyways, um, because I like him after that, I was like, hey, let's go get brunch after I got my graphics card and he got his and we went to get brunch and he enjoyed the day. He's like, oh, I'd like to go on another date. But anyways, it's just like, I don't know. I like guys who wear simple t-shirts like that, like a black t-shirts with a simple pants, you know, it just makes it look so nice and clean. I don't know. And they do like their little hair. It's not messy, but it's also like, you can tell like they put some work into it. Not like all gelled out or hair sprayed out, but like, you know, it's not like a bed head. So I don't know. I like that kind of look. I don't know. I think he looks kind of cute, you know? <laughs> all right. On to the next episode. Operation True Love. Episode 61. Oh, Ooh, she's whistling. I can't whistle. <laughs> Not really. This kind of feels like a real date. Where? <gasps> there, in the snack line. The tall guy wearing a the black t-shirt. Uh? In line? Tall? Black t-shirt? Uh, may I take your order? Is she talking about Yunyuk? Isn't he cute? She is. OMG, I got goosebumps. I feel like I'm gonna be talking about this moment for the next 10 years. I guess Yunyuk is good looking. Please make a straight line. How she looked just moments before. Ah, uh, a combo, right? <laughs> I feel proud for some reason. <laughs> Her nose. <laughs> Second hand pride. Why do I feel good when it's Yunyuk that look good look? That is good looking uh, should i ask for his number uh, uh. right yunyuk's love points have gone up a lot i shouldn't be feeling proud i'm sure tons of girls have confessed to him i wonder if he dated a lot of people love points zero times someone has confessed none number of relationships between uh, been in Z Oh my god, wasn't a real confession, was a fake relationship. Oh yeah, I forgot. She was in a relationship, but her, yeah, her ex was a jerk and really was not really into her. Suddenly feels a lot smaller. Ugh, so annoying. Oh, the girl went up. Honestly, she's actually kind of pretty, especially with a simple outfit like that with her long hair. Well, what did he say? Ugh. Did you get it? He said he has a girlfriend. Oh, oh, chibi character right here. Oh. Boom. <laughs> he must be here with his girlfriend. Man, that's disappointing. Girl. Girlfriend? L let's go. <laughs> Blink. Voice of reason. I'm sure he only said that because it's the sun, 
it's a serious way to deter someone. I shouldn't read too much into it. That's so uncool. Girlfriend? Girlfriend? Did he mean me? I don't think so. So is he seeing someone else? Wee woo wee woo. No way. He wouldn't be that shameless. Instincts. <laughs> you looking at like shoes outfit his watch looks like he put some thought into his clothes today oh uh. what are you looking at I, I was i was watching the movie <laughs> isn't it good this is my favorite kind of film totally my type of Oh, she pointed at that part. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Gung. <laughs> oh, what the hell? How is this only rated PG-13? Can they really show this? They can in PG-13 films. They can cuss, but they can't show, you know, nakedness. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Look at them go. I get really awkward when I see stuff like that. What did I just say? My favorite kind of movie? Seriously? <laughs> Damn it. What kind of movie only has killing in it? <laughs> oh. The movie was kind of... Huh? Oh yeah. So good. Totally. Really has no idea she wasn't paying attention. Ugh, that movie sucked. Seriously, one of the top three worst movies of the year. I don't even know what it was about since I fell asleep. <laughs> That's kissing the elevator saved it. If it hadn't been for, for that, I might have walked out. <laughs> Her crying. <laughs> Ding. Oh, uh, I guess we'll have to grab the next one. <sighs> Try the elevators on the other side because it was too crowded. I know this elevator is a little tucked away, but isn't it a bit too quiet? It's kind of awkward. <sighs> Doesn't look like, look like he feels uncomfortable about it, though. Ding. I guess it's only me. Ooh. What the? Uh. What are you doing? Aren't you getting on? Huh? Uh. Uh, I, I am. Oh. Drunk. The Queen's Man, coming July, produced by Meringue. Clunk, meringue. Uh, what was that? I think we're stuck. Uh, yes, is the management office. What's the problem? The elevator's stuck. We're in the elevator at the end of the building B, probably between the fifth and sixth floor. One moment, please. I contacted the maintenance company, company just now. It looks like it's going to take some time because their staff has to come and open the door. We'll be there as soon as they arrive. Please be patient. Oh. They said it's gonna take a bit. So we have to stay trapped in quiet, close quarters like this? <laughs> oh. uh, I think I need to lean against the wall. I'm a bit tired from standing. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, standing face to face. Shoot. This wasn't what I was going for. <laughs> uh. Are they gonna kiss? <laughs> Are they gonna kiss? I don't know. It's just like, <sighs> I'm waiting. I'm just waiting for them to seal the deal already. Uh, it's taking forever, man. <sighs> Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this webtoon and 
react to it, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up. And if you guys want to support me, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Um, I do upload some free stuff on there, but other than that, yeah, you guys do have to pledge if you guys want to. You guys don't have to. But it is a way to support me and uh, for me to continue reading for you guys. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!